Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Um, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Callie. This is my channel. It is super random and today's no different, but these videos, at least this series, is going to get less random because I'm going to be doing daily energy updates as I know that helps people, you know, get, um, flow through flow through or find some structure and balance to their days because sometimes we don't really know what to do in a day or what to focus on. So I'm going to be doing the energy updates based on, you know, the ast the astrological and numerologic numerological um, influences, all right? So, but first, if you are new to this channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. There's a lot of interesting stuff going on here, a lot of random stuff, but if you like your daily energy updates and if you end up liking this one, make sure you subscribe so you can see more. Um, and also, if you are new or not new, comment down below who you are, how you are, where you are, all right? I like to know who's watching this channel. What do you love? What are you into? How are you feeling? How are you doing? Where in the world general like a general location i want to see how far these videos are reaching so if you would do that for me i would really appreciate it otherwise let's get into it grand rising everybody all right it's morning where i am i just crawled out of bed um and i was like you know what let me go over the energy today give a feel for for what people may feel or experience um this is going to be based on an astrology just the transits, what's going on with the moon, the stars, and uh, just the overall energy for the day. So first and foremost, we got the sun in Gemini, right? Wednesday is ruled by Mercury, Mercury ruled by Gemini. So today is the day for your communications, working on that, checking in with your friends, seeing how they are, maybe, you know, talking or sharing things with large groups of people as the sun in Gemini well actually the sun is in Taurus I apologize but it's in the 11th house still um sun is in Taurus okay so we're still we're still focusing on physical needs we're still focusing on you know allowing ourselves to have pleasure or pulling back on the pleasure a little bit if we've been having too much pleasure um Really finding the stable, the stability in routine, and getting our daily life structured. Um, but since it is Wednesday, you know Mercury definitely, and the eleventh house, Mercury definitely has got his got the influence there, and is saying, you know what, reach out to your friends, connect with your friends, see how they're doing. Um, it is the thirteenth, which is ruled by Jupiter. All right, which also rules the throat communication, you know, making sure you're saying what you need to say, doing what you need to do. Um, we got the North Node also in Gemini in the 11th house. All right, so this is, you know, trying to see things through the other people's point of view, uh, looking looking at things from different perspective, you know, trying to step in the other person's shoes and not so much just thinking about your own experience, but learning through the experience of others. All right, this can be Gemini, man, my area, or no, my Mars, my Mars is in Gemini, and it can be a really chaotic, scattered energy because um, it just goes and goes and goes so fast. So make sure you're taking the time to slow down today, all right, because you may feel the need to just go in fast and do things in a scattered and unorganized way but that sun in Taurus and also the moon in Taurus right now is saying hey get some routines establish some structure to your daily life because that will help you move forward towards your goals much easier okay and so we got um cancer rising so this I mean I don't know about you guys but this whole energy, this whole month has been, you know, me trying to learn how to really nurture myself, doing what's good for my mind, body, and soul. Not so much what I want or feel, but what's good for me, what feels good to my body, taking it easy, mothering myself, all right? If you didn't have a strong mother presence, or even if you do, you have to become that presence for yourself. So mothering energy, strong today, um, 
Venus is also in Gemini. So in relationships, Gemini 11th house, you may feel really needed to connect to people today. And that is okay. And you got, you even got Jupiter over in the seventh house of relationships in Aquarius. So looking at what you can do in groups, how are, are is there things you can do to work with others um, that maybe you haven't explored yet or taken serious? Um, oh no, I'm sorry. Jupiter is in the eighth house. Uh, Jupiter is in the eighth house of Aquarius. So uh, still Saturn is in the eighth house and Saturn says, hey, what can you do with people? Is Can any type of group activity excel you further in life or just make you feel better? Um, Jupiter in the eighth house is expansion, all right? It's today about learning, but also about looking into other people's money and resources, all right? Maybe there's something that can be beneficial to you there, um, but also finding that inspiration. So um, today's chakras that may be highlighted, all right? You have Jupiter, which is the throat chakra, and you have Mercury, which may be more prevalent, the sacral chakra, all right? So um, you can really, if, if you don't know where to focus, you can focus on your emotional needs, your boundaries, intimacy, whatever you're attached to, letting go of, you know, because that sacral, sometimes if there's some blockages in the sacrals, we're attached to things that don't feel good or doing things that, you know, maybe need to let go because it's not good for us in the long run. Um, with the throat chakra, communicating your fearing, like being one open about how you feel, clearly communicating them, you know, communication is highlighted, especially with that Gemini energy. Um, so speaking up, allowing yourself to be creative, releasing by breathing, 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 breathing. Take deep breaths today to help you get through that Gemini energy that just wants to go so fast. Not saying you can't go, but make sure you're going in a balanced way, which is with that Cancer rising, calm, in a nourishing way. Move in a nourishing way. So that's all today, you guys. I hope this has been helpful. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think about the daily energy updates. It's something I should keep doing. I'm going to try it out for a week or two weeks and see how it goes. So yes, if that is something you are interested in, make sure you hit that subscribe button, comment below, share the video if you feel called. Other than that, I hope you guys have a wonderful and grand um day it's gonna rain where i am so mercury water energy is coming through strong um all right you guys take care and i will see you next time